please, please don't rain. Today's decision was a victory for married same-sex couples who say they're entitled to the same federal benefits as heterosexual couples. The first U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals said the 16-year-old Defense of Marriage Act interferes with the rights of states to define marriage themselves. It's absolutely wonderful. We are so happy. Betty Jo Green and Joanne Whitehead of Boston were two of 17 who sued the government to overturn the law. The couple met in college and have been together since 1981. They were legally wed in Massachusetts, but the Defense of Marriage Act prevents them from getting the federal tax benefits or Social Security benefits that come from being married. Both of us are cancer survivors, so we know that it's a possibility that one of us will probably die before the other. She will not be able to get survivor's benefits from me and through Social Security. It makes an enormous difference in our planning. Since the law passed in 1996, eight states and the District of Columbia have approved same-sex marriage. 31 states have banned it. Last year, President Obama instructed the Justice Department to stop defending the Defense of Marriage Act in court. It violates the Constitution. It's time for us to bring it to an end. House Republicans have hired a lawyer to defend the law, and today he said he always expected that the matter would end up here at the Supreme Court. Until it does, Scott, the First Circuit has says it will not enforce its ruling, which means for now nothing changes for same-sex couples. Nancy, thank you very much.